Good morning. We have slept good. We slept a little bit longer than we thought, but uh, we're not in a hurry. We have uh, around 900 kilometers to the harbor, and we're gonna arrive in Umeå in the middle of the night. So uh, we pray and hope we find a place where we can unload the trailer. And uh, it's been uh, really nice to sleep out take it easy. I slept really good and uh, Sebastian had some weird, weird noises last night he had like, like uh, and I asked him what, 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 what he's doing and he stopped and then uh, after a while he started again. But that's how we are, we're not normal and uh, my mother used to ask me why I can't be normal, but uh, the truth is that no one is normal. There are no normal people. What is normal? See, God created you and me like we are. So uh, I think it's the the world who have uh, created uh, the normal people. And uh, also the sad thing is that uh, many churches, they uh, want it to be normal, but it's impossible to be normal because there's nothing called normal. And uh, some churches, it's sad to see when people come in and they get saved, they become a copy of a copy of a copy. But uh, you are an original because God only creates originals. And uh, right now in the morning, I would just like to encourage you to to uh, seek Jesus if you're not saved and watching this and uh, you're wondering what is that dude talking about uh, I'm talking about Jesus and uh, ask him to come into your life and forgive you for all your sins and uh, wherever you are in life he will show up if you have problems just say Jesus help me and uh, he will be there for you that's how what happened to me so now we're going to drink our coffee and uh, continue this wonderful day given to us by God's amazing grace. Now we are in New Chirping. We stopped in our Chirping and uh, had our air condition fixed. So now our car is uh, is cool inside, and that's good. And now we stopped uh, for breakfast at Max here. Just a simple hamburger with cheese. And uh, did I ever tell you that Max has the best hamburgers? So uh, if you go to Sweden, you have to visit Max. That's the real stuff. Tack kära Jesus för Max.
Uppsala. Now we're past Stockholm and Uppsala and we're soon in uh, Yeah, yeah we're uh, past uh, Stockholm and Uppsala and we're soon in Gävle. We shift uh, drivers, so Sebastian is driving, he likes to ride the Volvo, and uh, this car is not so good on gas right now because we have a big trailer behind us with uh, two motorcycles and a trailer inside the trailer. We had a great day so far, and uh, we had Max, and this is our last day in Sweden, so I'm gonna make sure I have at least one Max hamburger before we leave Sweden because I don't know when I get back here uh, it's been a good trip it's been a really good trip we've been riding the motorcycles and we've been meeting people and we have had some great meetings in Borlänge uh, Tansje uh, Karlskoga and uh, in uh, Gullbranna Gothenburg and Borås it's been a really fantastic and uh, just uh, I feel encouraged with uh, everything that has happened and uh, all the people I have met. But now we're gonna see what's going on in uh, Gävle. Okay, we stopped in Sundsvall here and uh, we're eating at Max. Did I ever tell you that Max has the best hamburger? So if you ever come to Sweden, you have to uh, check them out. And guess who we meet here? We meet uh, Sister Anja and Brother Bert. It's nice with a meal in the middle of the night. Yes, it's very good. You can eat when you're the bus driver, you can eat anytime. I think I need to become a bus driver. Then I can eat anytime. So now we have been at Max with Sister Anja, Sebastian and her husband Bert. And we had a really nice meal. Yes. And it was really good. And uh, we had a good time together. Yes. And uh, now we're going to continue our trip. and. Uh, yeah, soon we're home. Yeah. Amen. Now we're in a place called uh, Infart and uh, Sebastian has been driving for a couple of hundred kilometers and I took uh, a nap and we have uh, probably 35-40 kilometers to Umeå and we will unload the trailer and uh, it's been a long day, but soon we're home.
Yeah, it's good. Now we're gonna return the trailer. We're gonna take this to the harbor, and uh, yeah, God is good. We have returned the trailer and uh, we're gonna go to another gas station for a cup of coffee because this is closed then we need to come back here and drop off the key so it's a lot of running here and there but the weather is nice it's early morning it's probably five o'clock for 30 something like that and we're having a riot okay now we're here at the other gas station drinking coffee it's early morning I'm, I'm getting uh, punch drunk, as brother Mike Eicher used to say, when you have had uh, uh, not so much sleep and uh, everything is funny. We, we are having a good time and uh, it's going to be so nice to get home. And uh, coffee is good and uh, this trip has been really good, even if we got a couple of dents and scratches on the bikes from the trailer it uh, it doesn't matter those are only material things we have seen people get saved people baptized in the Holy Spirit this trip we have met people we have shared the gospel with people and that's what counts so uh, I'm, I'm blessed to uh, have been able to do this trip and I want to thank you all who've been uh, supporting this trip and uh, you who have been praying for us and all you who have watching and uh, we still have uh, some hours before we're home in Finland but uh, soon this trip is over but uh, we still will do a fair ride and uh, you will follow on that as well so I just thought I thank you all right now in case I forget it later on God is good. when we have some time to kill we decided to wash the car so uh, it's clean and nice when we come home and show it to to mama because she likes clean cars and uh, if it's dirty she says oh you bought a dirty car I don't know but she probably don't understand that uh, it can get dirty when you drive a long way as we have done but uh, now it's getting clean and it's always nice to have a clean car and, uh, it's uh, three hours till the ferry leaves so uh, we have uh, plenty of time to kill Trailer is returned, and uh, we're heading to the harbor. And uh, I can't wait to lay down on the boat and get three and a half, four hours sleep. That will do good. And then we're almost home. in the cabin and uh, now I'm gonna sleep we've been up for uh, 24 hours and uh, we're soon home we sleep wake up in Finland and uh, then we just drive the bikes in the car of the ferry take the car and one bike home go and pick up one bike and then we're home then I gonna get some more sleep hallelujah God is good. Now we are in Finland. Now we are soon home. It was good with a nap and I will take some more naps when I get home.
Now folks, we are home. You might be wondering why I do these video clips. And uh, the reason is that God has told me to share my life with all of you. And as you've seen, there's a lot of things happening. And uh, for all of you who think it's boring to be a Christian, I can tell you it's not boring at all. There's uh, life in Christ and the life in Him is an adventure. But now I'm going to go with my wife shopping and uh, I would like to wish you God's all richest blessings. And uh, thank you for uh, following us on our trip to Sweden. We've been away for 15 days, now we're home. Now we're going to take a week off relaxing before next trip to Zambia in a week. God bless you all.